Uh, PC boards are back thanks to PCBWay. Um, lots of lots of things I have on the share site there, so go check them out. You might want to buy one. Um, so here is the board back. I chose a black solder mask um, because it's a display project, and I don't want to have the board uh, interfering with the display itself. So. Generally, I don't like blackboards because it's hard to see the traces, but uh, in this particular case, a blackboard is appropriate. All right, so uh, did I make any mistakes or not? We do have a, do you see him in there? Let's see here. We do have MSI Dog in the back of the board though. Okay, good boy, MSI Dog. Um, so let's, uh, let's load one up. Ta-da! Um, so I have, let me get this out of the way. I have, um, populated a bare minimum to get functionality, make sure I didn't make any big mistakes before I commit other ICs to it. Uh, so I have one Nixie tube, one driver, um, everything else was surface mount, so I put everything else surface mount. Um, I did power it up, and then I was drawing one and a half amps. <laughs> I was drawing a dead short. Um, and I found out that I'd put this chip in backwards. Rookie mistake. Uh, so I've removed him and now it should be, should be operational. So now I need to hook this up to an Arduino and see if I can't get some data into it. Um, I do need to up apply uh, 170 volts to it. So, um, let's take a look at that solution. I was going to put it on the board and design my own 170 volt supply and everything. And I thought, nah, you can just buy those things. So I'm just going to treat it as another part of the power supply. And I have, uh, I got these guys. This is a little, a little bit too much. Uh, there we go. A little bit too much white. Um, yeah, five volts in, 170 volts out. I think these were like 98 cents or so. I don't know, maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe they were. Uh, two dollars or something. They weren't. They weren't much. <laughs> they were not much. And then I also bought a fun device. Where did he go? I think he's here. Yeah. Just for fun. This was like nine dollars, which was way too much money. But I, I really, really liked the uh, smallness and quality of the design of this thing. Um, it is nice. Can I? Get the camera to focus up close. Yeah, there we go. Look at that thing. It's very, very nice, but like I said, it was too expensive. Nice, nice inductor though. But uh, just to play with. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use one of these. It's, these work just fine. Uh, I was very happy with the layout. My my footprint worked out just fine. I was worried about these uh, fat fat pins on the uh, Nixie tube socket not fitting these holes, but they they fit like a glove. worked worked out really well. So yeah, 170 volts in this side, five volts in this side, and uh, yeah, I will get software up and running, debugging and everything without the 170 volts supplied. We'll get it, uh, we'll get the digital part working for us first. And if I, if I see data lines toggling and stuff here, then we can uh, apply some power and see if we get, uh, see if you get numbers. All right, so I have the board hooked up. I have my 170 volt supply. Everything should be good to go. Put five volts on the, uh, on the board in the back here and it should go. Let's hook up ground. Sorry, I'm in the way. Come around to this side here. And, oh, look at that. We got a Nixie going. We got a Nixie. We got a Nixie. Look at him go. Look at him go. Uh oh, starting to bleed over. Looks like there's maybe some crosstalk there somewhere. Or maybe I just don't have the voltage high enough or too high or I don't know. Should be able to play with it. Or this is a resistor. It might be the re resistor. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Nixies, but uh, anyway, it's encouraging that it's working. So I think, yeah, I think what I'll do, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know, hmm, that's interesting. So each Nixie only requires four bits of information from the I squared C chip. And it seems like it worked fine some of the times and not on other times. I'm wondering if the count is funny. Maybe it's going too 
far. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. I'm counting binary. So I'm counting 0 through 9, but then I'm also counting 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then it goes to the next one. So that's what it is. I'm getting some double double character. So I need to change my code. So it only only writes those four four bits, 0 through 9 each time. So anyway, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yay! So I can load up the rest of these and change my code. And uh, yeah, we should be able to... Uh, Get it to work. An I squared C Nixie tube display. That's pretty cool. All right, there we go. A proper count. Uh, zero through nine. Very nice. And uh, I made two mistakes in the software. The first one I described before, which is I was counting a, a zero to 15 instead of zero to nine. And when I changed that, it was giving me lots of garbage. And I, what it is, it's just a low true. When you pull down on the Nixie, it turns on. So I needed to invert all of my bits. Um, and so whatever I was displaying here, I needed to subtract that from 15 and then everything worked fine. So anyway, uh, yeah, low true logic. And, uh, and there we go. We get a cool, uh, get a cool Nixie count there. Let me turn the lights off. Ah, perfect. <laughs> All right, well, the next step will be to uh, load the rest of the board and uh, see if I can get it, uh, get it done. Nice.